Hey guys, I am Pratima from Gadget Byte, and this is the Samsung Galaxy A03 Core, the cheapest smartphone that I have laid my hands on in quite a long time. And it's not that I am hesitant to test or use budget phones. Instead, it's just that there aren't many brands actively catering to this category lately. As you might know, the entire electronics industry has been suffering from global chip shortage for some time now. So since there aren't that many chips to work with, smartphone brands are naturally prioritizing phones with a higher profit margin, thereby completely neglecting the sub-$100 segment. Hence, instead of um, releasing new budget phones, these companies are salvaging whatever they have in stock and rebranding them under different packages as fresh launches. Take this two-year-old Redmi 9A for instance. It was recently succeeded by Redmi 9A Sport, but the two are basically the same device. And it's just not Redmi. Other brands like Poco and Samsung have been doing the same as well. So how do you make cheap phones from scratch in 2022? As it stands, you will have to make some significant compromises. The Galaxy A03 here does this in the chipset department. Here, Samsung has used the Unisoc SC9863A, which is a three-year-old chipset built on a 28 nanometer process. As a result, we were quite skeptical of its performance standard. Running a quick Geekbench test, we found that it fell behind the Helio G25. Thankfully, Samsung has shipped the A03 core with Android 11 Go Edition with One UI 4 on top, instead of the standard Android 11 based One UI, which is way too taxing for a startup mode like this. As a result, it feels much smoother in day-to-day -day usage when compared to the Redmi 9A that runs on full-fledged MIUI 12. Apps open a little quicker and its RAM management is not as aggressive as that of MIUI either. All of this combined, I don't have many complaints regarding the performance of the Galaxy A03 core. It can do most of the lightweight tasks such as web browsing, streaming, YouTube, and attending online classes. Plus, you can also enjoy some lightweight games such as Clash of Clans, Dr. Wolf, and Slither.io. You can technically install and play games like Free Fire on this phone too, but I will not recommend doing so since uh, such apps tend to grow exponentially over time, leaving you with degraded performance standards and lesser storage space. Okay, now let's focus on the entertainment aspect of the Galaxy A03 core. On the front, it sports a 6.5 inches LCD panel with HD plus resolution, and I must say its overall brightness and viewing angles are actually pretty good for the price. The colors look a little cooler, but I didn't notice any unnatural hue here. Um, YouTube videos appear a little soft when forcing them to 1080p resolution, but that is to be expected with HD screen. Um, likewise, you will have no problem viewing PDFs or other documents on the screen in case you intend to buy this phone for attending online classes. That being said, I wished its single speaker setup had a wider sound stage. The audio quality here sounds congested, which can be a problem when multiple people are talking on a voice call or Zoom classes. All right, before moving forward with the video, allow me to talk a little about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of creative courses and classes taught by experts to help you learn new skills. From animation, photography, coding to marketing, Skillshare has something for everyone. With Skillshare's massive catalog of bite-sized classes, learning a new skill is as convenient as ever. Plus, with Skillshare's mobile app, you can learn on the go as well. These days, I have been taking HTML plus CSS advanced course by Rich Armstrong and learning so much. Skillshare is also offering a month's free trial of premium membership to the first 1000 Gadget Byte viewers, so hurry up and sign into Skillshare to enhance your skill set. Okay, now back to the video. Okay, the cameras is another aspect where the budget A03 core struggles. Here, as you can see, photos lack detail and uh, struggle maintaining exposure even when taken in plenty of sunlight. Pictures taken at night are full of noise, which is true for both front and back cameras. Also, the default camera app does not offer much in terms of features. You don't even get dedicated portrait and night mode here. But again, it should get you through online classes or clicking pictures of notes and such. 
Finally, let's talk about the battery endurance on this thing. Since you won't be gaming as much or doing other intensive tasks on this phone, a full charge will last you over a day. In other words, um, the A03 Quartz 5000mAh battery simply does not disappoint. But the charging speed is way too slow here since Samsung ships a measly 7.75W charger inside the box that takes over 3 hours to get the phone charged from 0-100%. to 100%. Overall, if you're thinking of getting an entry-level Android smartphone, the Galaxy A03 Core looks like a decent option. Although it does not have the fastest of specs on paper, Samsung has optimized the software well to run on low specs. So I see it as a viable option for people looking for a basic starter phone or something uh, to get them through online classes on a really, really tight budget. Everything from its design to its display to its battery life are worth the price. That being said, I would have liked it more if Samsung had added Camera Go and given at least 10 watt charging support here. So guys, that was all for our full review of the Samsung Galaxy A03 Core. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you so much for watching.